So the thing we talk about the lights, curves, and contributions of the um, David Gross. So first, William David Gross, 1877 to 1971, was a prominent Scottish philosopher known particularly uh, for his work in ethics. So William David Gross was born in Torres, Scotland, and studied at the University of Edinburgh and the Royal College, Oxford. Ross served as a professor of philosophy at various universities throughout his career, including at Oxford, where he was the white professor of moral philosophy. So, he was also the uh, uh, general editor of the Oxford Aristotle uh, translation series, The Metaphysics and the Nicomedian Ethics. So, uh, also, he served during World War I where during World War I, Ross served in the British Army. His service experienced like influence his philosophical views, particularly Lee, regarding moral duties and obligations. Next up is your contribution to William David Ross. Intuitionism. Ross argued for the existence of basic moral truths that can be known although intuition. According to the moral principles such as honesty, fidelity, and justice are self-evident and do not need further investigation. Ang institutionism ni William David Ross ay isang pananaw sa etika na nagpapahalaga sa intuition bilang gabay sa paggawa ng moral na decision. Ito ay nagpapakita ng halaga ng personal na pagpunawa sa pagtugma ng ating mga gabay sa mga moral na prinsipyo. Example nito is yung pag pagiging aras mo sa iyong pamilya. Yun po. Next con contribution is the uh, pluralism in ethics. Ross emphasized the complexity of moral situations and the need to consider multiple moral principles simultaneously. He rejected the idea of a single overriding moral principles and argued for a pluralistic approach to ethics. Uh, in this contribution, he suggests that our moral principles that can guide ethical decision making rather than a single overarching principle. Pluralism in ethics means accepting that there are multiple valid moral principles and values rather than just one. Next contribution is the prima facie duties. Introduce the concept of prima facie duties which are moral obligations that all can list overridden by strong moral considerations. These duties include fidelity, gratitude, beneficence, non maleficence justice, and self-improvement. In this contribution, it reduces the concept of prima facie duties as part of this critical theory of pluralism, suggesting that there are several moral that can guide ethical decision making. So we go back to the pluralism in ethics. The example of this is in a healthcare setting, acknowledging the both patient autonomy, the patient's right to make their own decisions and beneficence, the duty to do good for the patient are important ethical principles. Next is your common sense philosophy with William David Ross. Ross relies on common sense morality and ordinary language in ethical analysis has led a lasting impact on contemporary ethical theory. While philosophers may not always agree on specific moral principles, the appeal to common sense in intuitions and everyday moral judgment remains an important aspect of ethical inquiry. 
Ang, com ang common sense sa filosofiya ni William de Pedro sa ito mo tukoy sa simpleng pagpunawak at katuwiran na nagmula sa pang araw-araw na karanasan at nagtuturo sa ating kung ano ang tama at mali sa moral na aspekto ng buhay. Example nito is yung pagtulong mo sa isang naksiliti ng tao sa kalsada. Yun lang po. So last contribution of William David Ross is yung moral realism. Ross meet men to moral realism. The view that there are objective moral truths independent of individual beliefs or cultural practices continues to inform contemporary discussions about moral objectivity and moral relativism. His defense of the objectivity of moral principles and the universality of moral obligations remains relevant in debates about moral truth and moral justification. So, dito is the uh, human existence of moral uh, facts or moral truths ng isang tao ay nakadepende rin sa kanilang mga beliefs, kultura, at yung mga perception na nila sa isang bagay. Malaking epekto rin yung mga yung lugar na kung saan sila ninira, naninirahan sa kanilang pag-iisip uh, sa isang bagay. Next po is works of William David Ross. The Right and the Good is one of the world's most notable works and he is considered one of the most important contributions to moral philosophy in the 20th century. In this book, he introduces his ethical theory known as the concept of prima facie, means at first glance. This prima facie is arguing that there are several moral principles that guide ethical behavior, such as this one. So, first one who is fidelity, we should try to keep promises and be honest and truthful. So, the uh, first example here is, let's say you promise your friend that you're gonna move in a new apartment this Saturday. And your another, your, uh, and your another friend invited you to go uh, on a party this coming Saturday. So, dito po is lumalabas ang fidelity that you need to may concern or possible na problema na if you keep a promise na sa isang friend mo, dapat yun muna gawin mo before yung um, biglaat na lang na na-invite sa you. That you should keep your promise to person. Next po is re reparation wherein we should make amends when we gave wrong someone else. For example po is yung next time, well, ni Mama Harami ni last time ngayon na Nung mas balikan na ba't ko sapkay sa patos nung ito, I will make a men's true ang alak ni tissue, tapos kung nasapkay na ba't ko sapkay sa patos nung ito. Tapos next po is gratitude, <coughs> wherein we should be grateful to others when they perform actions that benefit us and we should try to return the favor. So example of gratitude po is, if your neighbor would water your plants while you were on vacation, you thank them with small gift by or returning the paper when they go on vacation too. So next is non-injury or non-maleficence. We should refrain from harming others either physically or psychologically. Example po is pag may, pag na, may nakita si Ira na ang um, spider sa kanilang bahay, hindi niya yung papatayin, papatayin kundi kukunin niya yun at uh, ilalabas niya sa kanilang bahay para hindi masaktan yung spider para sa tao pa. Tapos next po is beneficence. We should be kind to others and try to improve their health, wisdom, security, and happiness and well-being. Six is self-improvement. Alam na natin itong lahat. For in we should try to improve our own health, wisdom, security, and well-being Next is, last but not the least, justice. We should try to be fair and distribute benefits and burdens equally and evenly. Thank you. Okay, this is the other works of William David Rose. Foundation of Ethics is another work of Rose. In this, he suggests that the duties of beneficence, self-improvement, and justice could be sub sub under a single duty to promote its three values. That things that are extremely good. The foundation of ethics is the prima facie duties. Pero yung tatlong beneficial self-improvement and justice, 
He merged in single duty to promote in street values. In street values is refers to the essential part of something based on its qualities and characteristics. And next is doing this will reduce the number of prima facie duties from seven to five. However, the important thing is thing here is not so much the exact number of duties that we recognize but to agree that the duties enumerated and described are all valid and certified. Exactly.